I'm here with Mac Lake at the Innovation Lab here at Leadership Network offices in Dallas. And Mac is serving as kind of one of our in-house consultants working with churches that are uh, trying to figure out their plan for the next phase of multi-site. And Mac, I wanted just to get a little bit of update on some of the things you guys are learning at Seacoast. You've kind of become known as a leadership development guru. And so uh, just <laughs> tell us a little bit about some of the new things you guys are learning about leadership development at Seacoast. Yeah, um, Greg, uh, in fact, at our last uh, meeting we were at here at Leadership Network, uh, we spent two, two and a half days just talking through some of our leadership development processes. And, and uh, as, you, as you know, we, we sort of use a high-tech, high-touch approach to leadership development, a mentor-based approach. And uh, what we are really talking about now is taking what we're doing and building a leadership development culture, not just building leaders, developing leaders. It's not good enough to just develop leaders. We want to make sure that we're building a leadership development culture. So we're changing some of our language and we're saying we want to put people in a greenhouse. You know, a greenhouse is a place that's an environment that produces growth. So, um, uh, so we've gone through and re-looked at our leadership pipeline. Uh, we've identified competence, comp new competencies at every level of our leadership pipeline and um, coming up with tools that we're putting in our leadership greenhouse so that when, uh, when one of our current leaders wants to mentor a potential leader, they can go to the greenhouse, identify the best tools to develop that person in a particular competency. So, real excited about this because our ultimate goal of this is to raise up leaders a, a an abundant harvest of reproducing leaders is what we're trying to uh, accomplish through this. That's exciting. Thanks. 